What up? It's your boy. Luke for Prez. Back yet again. Here I am with yet another video for you guys. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day out there. And today, what I'm going to be discussing is exactly how to sell beats online utilizing automated email systems, specifically MailChimp, which is the service that I use for this very thing. With the help of a service like MailChimp, you can basically sell beats in your sleep. You can set up a whole automated sequence of emails to reach out to customers and leads, and I'm going to explain in detail how to do just that. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in marketing tutorials geared towards music production, then you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You know what, as a matter of fact, hit that bell button while you're at it so you can stay up to date on the new video drops that will be continuing forever. Cause I ain't stopping. Not anytime soon. I just got monetized. Why would I stop? In any case, let's get into this thing. So first, some really good news. You can actually sign up to MailChimp for free, up to 2000 contacts. So if you're just getting started and you've never really done anything with email marketing before, uh, this is a great way to get your feet wet without having to invest any money whatsoever. Having said that, I definitely want you guys to be aware that as your business grows and you get more and more contacts and you're sending out more and more emails, this shit gets expensive. It goes from like $10 a month to $15 a month uh, and up and up and up and eventually, you know, it can be like 300 a month. But hopefully by the time you get to that point where you need to be paying for this, your business is gonna be so profitable that the cost will be negligible. Once you've signed up for MailChimp and created your free account, you're gonna get to your dashboard. From there, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and create an audience. I currently have two audiences and I suggest that you do the same. One audience, the one I'm referring to now is titled Luke for Prez Beats. That's the audience uh, that is made up of my customers. So if someone goes to my website or goes to my BeatStars account or goes to my pro page and purchases a beat, they are automatically added to this audience. The one called Luke for Prez Funnel Contacts is made up of people who have not yet purchased from me, but I have gathered their email from either the ClickFunnels funnel that I was running for a while or just you know various other means. Maybe I sent them free beats manually at, at some point in the past or for whatever reason, I, I, I've been able to, to get their email. So while it says funnel contacts, it's actually just basically all of my leads ever, not just from my ClickFunnels experiment. And if you wanna hear more about that, I will link to it in a little box thing. In any case, when you get to the screen, there's not gonna be any audiences. So go ahead and click on create audience. Uh, and then click on create audience again. It's going to take you to this screen here where you're gonna give your audience a name, set up exactly what email address you want your emails to be coming from, and the name, you know, that would just be your producer name, essentially. When you're done filling all that out, just click on save, and it'll take you back to here. Then go ahead and repeat that process a second time. Again, make one of these audiences relating to customers, and one audience relating to leads who have not yet purchased from you. And I'll show you how you can link both of these to your BeatStars account uh, very easily. Once you've created both of your audiences, this is where the fun begins. You get to actually create your email sequences. So from this menu on the left, find the campaigns tab and go ahead and click on that. Then in the right hand corner, click on create campaign, select email, go to automated, and then go to welcome new subscribers. Then click onboarding series because we're not gonna send just a single email to these people. We wanna reach out 
on an ongoing basis to make sure that they are well aware of your existence and are encouraged to go ahead and purchase beats from you. Give your campaign a name and select which audience you would like the campaign to be associated with. So for this first one, like again, this is my purchasers one. So I would title this like purchasers series, right? Then go ahead and click begin. So now it's going to pull up this screen here. And as you can see, MailChimp has already created uh, some generic default emails, um, five in total, a welcome email and then four subsequent follow-up emails. This is really the fun part because it allows you to be creative with your marketing strategy and answer a bunch of questions like, what kind of content do I want to be sending these people? How often do I want to send an email to these people every day, once a week, whatever the case may be? There's no right or wrong answer to this. And there's actually a number of different philosophies when it comes to email marketing. So I definitely suggest doing your own research and finding out a strategy that works best for you. And also keep in mind that the frequency with which you reach out to your customers might be different from the frequency that you reach out to prospects or leads that have not yet purchased from you. These are all decisions that you can make. And again, I don't really think there is a one size fits all method to this. So the first email is like the welcome email, welcome to our community, whatever. When you see where it says trigger, that's when that's what indicates when the email will actually be sent out. So this one is the first one and it gets sent immediately after a contact uh, is subscribed to the audience. So I actually like that. I think that's perfect. I would leave that alone. So in this case, assuming that, you know, this is the purchasers list, as soon as they get through with the checkout process, they're going to be automatically added to this list and they're going to receive this initial email going forward. As you can see here, the first follow up email, uh, the default trigger is one day after the subscriber is sent the previous email, but you can click edit and change that to, you know, one week if you want whatever it's it's totally up to you as far as what i would recommend for a purchaser series or sequence of emails I, I, I definitely wouldn't be hitting them like every day or every other day you know they've just purchased a beat so the next step for them is going to be to record a song using the beat so if anything i'd reach out to them maybe two weeks later and ask for an update and see how the the song is going um, and then maybe a, another two weeks if you still haven't heard from them. I'm not going to go into like great detail as to what to say in each of these emails, because really, I think that's up to you. And that's where you get to be creative and, you know, put on your marketer hat, so to speak. But I am going to show you what the design module looks like within MailChimp, just so you have an idea. Once you click on that, you can go ahead and name your email. Um, which uh, this is just internal use. So you can name this whatever you want. Your your customers are not going to see this, but the email subject will uh, show up for them, obviously. So I would probably put something like, thanks for your purchase. And something that I see a lot of people doing that I actually don't do, but I might start implementing this soon is in this initial email to your customers, you can add a discount code for their next purchase. So if you want to give like 20% off your next purchase, whatever, something to encourage them to become return customers, I definitely think that might be a good idea. So maybe you could um, say something like extra present inside. I don't know. Say something better than that. I'm just freestyling here, but you get what I'm saying. Something that will uh, encourage them to open the email because the reality is when it comes to email marketing the open rates are really really bad you know if you send out a thousand emails to a thousand different contacts you know you might be looking at anywhere from like a one to five percent open rate so do the math there it's not a whole lot now there are certain techniques that you can utilize to give yourself a better chance of people actually opening the email and I, you know, use intriguing subject lines, I think is, is one of the best ways of accomplishing that. So when you're done with that, the next step is to uh, choose a template. MailChimp actually comes with a number of 
default templates that you can choose from for your emails. I choose the most basic one possible because I don't have like product images, obviously, and there's nothing real fancy about anything that I'm doing with these emails. So I click on the most basic one and then that takes you to this page right here where you can go ahead and customize your email. You can include your logo if you want. I actually don't. So I just delete that whole section. And I don't like that it starts you off with this giant ass sentence at the top. I have no idea why they think that's a good idea. So I actually delete that as well. But then over here, you can see different blocks that you can add to the email and basically customize it as you see fit. So I just select a text block and drag it into the body section. And then that'll pull up a little uh, text box here that you can actually customize your email to and, you know, go crazy. So that's basically the extent of the design function uh, within MailChimp uh, in terms of creating individualized emails. Once you've completed that initial email, go ahead and create the follow up emails, select what triggers you want, select how many emails you want. You can add more if you want, or you can actually delete some of these. Um, it's just up to you. And then when you're done with all of that, go ahead and click save and exit. And yeah, you'll be good to go. Then from there, go ahead and repeat that process for the second audience that you've created, AKA your leads. So just to give you a quick walkthrough of what that would look like, go ahead and click create campaign again, email, lead, reach out campaign whatever you want to title it, click on automated, click on welcome new subscribers again, and then click on onboarding series again. And then I guess that's where you actually name it. Lead reach out campaign, select your audience, make sure you select the correct audience and then click begin. And that will take you back to this page, which will load eventually there it goes where you can create all of the emails. Now for the lead reach out, there's a couple different strategies that you might want to think about that differ slightly from your strategy in terms of reaching out to people that have already purchased from you. The goal there obviously is to nurture that contact, uh, build a relationship with that artist who's already invested in your music and uh, ultimately encourage you know further collaboration via more beat purchases here you're trying to get people to purchase for the first time right so you might want to spend more time introducing yourself offering value up front without asking them to actually purchase anything right off the bat asking them to engage with you send some information back to you about what projects they've been working on what type of music that they like etc the goal here is also to build that relationship but progressively you're going to want to encourage them to actually make a purchase and the conventional marketing wisdom says that as you go down you know this uh, list of emails as they're re you know reached out to more and more times you want to increase the sense of urgency that you're giving these prospects to go ahead and finally make a purchase so one way of doing that is if you start off by maybe giving people free beats in the first email which you can do just by including like a Dropbox link or however you want to do it maybe in the second email you want to introduce information about a, a potential product that you have or maybe you just released a new beat or something like that maybe you want to give them a discount code that is only valid until the end of the week or the end of the month or whatever the case may be and you want to introduce that topic to them in not a pushy way but in just more of like an informational way but then as you go down these emails you might want to get a little bit more pushy as you go and remind them like yo this is about to expire i don't want you to miss out etc that's just one strategy that you can utilize i'm not saying that it's the best or the only one but it is kind of a, a popular method and again i highly encourage you to do your own research learn more about email marketing and uh, you know figure out what strategy works best for you and your particular brand because it's going to be different for everybody to a certain degree once all of the emails that you want to have included are created and done 
Now comes the time to link these audiences and these email sequences to your BeatStars account. So head on over to BeatStars, hover over my media, and then go to marketing integrations. MailChimp is actually the first one that appears. And here is where you link the audience that you're going to be using for customers. So as you can see, choose your preferred mailing list below to auto subscribe your customers. So it'll say connect here instead of disconnect, obviously, because mine's already set up. So just click on connect and then choose which audience you want to have receive your emails um, from your list made up of purchasers and then click save. And now whenever anybody purchases from you from BeatStars, whether that's the pro page, your actual BeatStars account via the marketplace or your Blaze Pro player, they will automatically be subscribed to that mailing list. BeatStars also provides you with the ability to create a subscribe to mailing list module right on your pro page. So you can go crazy with this really. Like I, I don't really use the pro page anymore. I don't send any traffic to it. So that's why this is like really bland and, and not um, filled out. I'll show you what it looks like on my actual website now. I actually offer five free beats still um, to uh, potential people, but I kind of have it buried because you know that's not what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that people come to my site and actually purchase. But um, if you scroll down far enough, boom, you can see uh, subscribe to our mailing list and get five free beats instantly. Uh, get five free tagged MP3s in your inbox when you sign up to our mailing list where you'll be the first to hear about new releases, get exclusive discounts and more. So this is set up uh, with a, a third party plugin via WordPress. It is linked to my MailChimp account, but you can basically copy something like this and include it on your BeatStars Pro page and have it linked to MailChimp straight through BeatStars. And I'll show you how to do that. So, you know, add whatever you want here, whatever you want to use to entice people to actually subscribe to the mailing list. Go ahead and do that. And then when you're ready, go back to BeatStars, go back to My Media, go to Pro Page Setup and scroll down to Contact List Builder Subscription Form. This is where you can actually edit that text. So if you want to say like, oh, get five free beats, whatever the case may be, uh, you would just go ahead and click on this would be this would say like add integration instead of change because mine's already set up. So if you just wanted to click on that, MailChimp will come up and your uh, two audiences will come up as well. Select the correct one and then uh, make sure you save this thing and you're good to go. So that is how you set up email marketing for your beat selling business and how you link it to your BeatStars account so you can start reaching out to customers and prospects automatically without having to do any legwork after the initial setup whatsoever. I hope you found this video enjoyable and useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this or if you want me to make any follow-up videos that go into more detail about what actually to put in each of the individual emails. That's all I got. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed rest of your day, guys. Damn. Let's let's live. Let's thrive. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm out. Peace.